My name is Chris and this is an instructional video that will demonstrate how to install and uninstall a program using the Windows 2000 Advanced Server Operating System. Now there are several different ways to install a program. The first is if you have a CD you can put it into your CD-ROM and if it has an auto run feature it'll just automatically pop up with an option that says install. Now even if it doesn't you can typically double click here on your CD-ROM and that will either run the auto run or the install or open the CD-ROM. Once it's open you can come down here and locate a setup or an install file and double click on it. You'll notice over here that the auto run did indeed pop up, but we're going to go ahead and exit out. We're going to come down to the start bar, settings, control panel. Now from here you'll see add remove programs, double click on it. And we're going to come over here to add new programs. Now we want it to automatically scan our disk drive, our CD-ROM, and there you go. It found the install program for the program in the CD-ROM. So we just go ahead and hit finish, and it'll automatically run the install. Now I've chosen an old favorite game of mine, Alpha Centauri installing any program can be done in the same way though. Now at this point Alpha Centauri's installer is going to take over and each installer for each game is different or for each program is different. So from this point forward we're just going to go through Alpha Centauri's installer which like most installers it just involves hitting the next button quite a few times. And then we'll wait for it to end. Alright, now we're just going to finish up this install. Register later. Yes. Okay. Deselect these and just hit finish. And we're going to close this out. And we're going to go back into add remove programs. You notice Alpha Centauri is now right here on the list. Now to remove it, we're just going to come over here and click on the change remove button. And I'll ask if we're sure we want to remove it, hit yes. And it'll run the uninstaller, which will remove all aspects of this program from anywhere on the computer. The reason why you do this instead of just deleting it out of the folder is registry entries. There's a lot of things that a program does when it installs that isn't just in the folder where the program was installed. So if you just delete it, you're not going to get rid of all aspects of the program and you're going to have remnants remaining on your computer. That says install completed. We're going to hit OK. And it's gone from the list. And that's all there is to it. My name is Chris and you've been watching my instructional video on how to install and uninstall a program in the Windows 2000 Advanced Server Operating System. I hope you enjoyed watching and you found the information useful.